Alrighty, welcome everybody. This is the ninth grade A. This video is also useful for the ninth grade C. And what we're going to do today is a review of a unit. We're going to check the following things. Well, today's the 21st of August, very important. We'll be checking comparative and superlative adjectives. Also, we'll be checking the comparative as, which is equality and not equal comparison. Then we'll continue with some formation of adverbs, TV genres, and types of TV programs. Okay. When I mention TV genres, we're talking about film genres. Okay. People, uh, instructions. Feel free to stop the class. Tell me when you don't understand, and we can repeat again. No, no, no problem. Let's begin. Let's continue. So. Let's start off first with the number one, which is the comparatives. Okay, uh, we mentioned that to understand the comparatives and the superlatives and everything, it's very important to know that adjectives, they describe people or things. So if something is beautiful, it's big, it's long, it's large, small, strong, whatever, those are adjectives and they describe things or people, okay? I can say, for example, Antonino is very, uh, intelligent. I can say Marie Ignacia is very quick. I can say, for example, uh, Geronimo School is very nice. So in those cases, I'm describing that. Number two. Also, you know that we can classify adjectives. We can classify them in many ways. We can classify them, for example, adjectives of appearance, adjectives of uh, length, adjectives or size adjectives of color okay but in this case uh, we are going to we are going to classify adjectives by the length length means longitude okay so we're going to be classifying or separating adjectives into three different categories in this case we have short adjectives which according to uh let me see oh let me go back with the pointer, yeah, okay, this is it. Go back, please, go, 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 go. So, short adjectives that are according to this, we have one syllable adjectives, tall, nice, small, strong, cute, uh, tall, etc. short. Uh, and also we have two syllable adjectives, ending in Y, and those also are considered to be short, okay? So lucky, crazy, happy, lazy, merry, okay, pretty. Those adjectives also are short. Then we have a long adjective category and we count two syllables, okay? Without the Y, of course. So two syllables, adjectives, boring, narrow, simple, and many more, okay? And also two or more syllables adjectives, like and interesting, important, expensive, beautiful, hand, no, no, handsome, handsome has to, uh, gorgeous, okay, and many others. This is the step number one. Everything okay here? Yes. Sí, teacher. Okay, vamos paso a paso. Estamos recordando un tabla que hemos visto. Okay, adjectives. Esta es la piedra angular. Si, si no sabemos esto, no podemos hacer mucho. Well, let's continue that. So the first thing that we have is that we can compare things and we can also highlight things with the comparatives. So the first category is the comparative adjectives. And comparative adjectives, just like the name says, we compare things, okay? And this is very uh, uh, restricted because we can only compare, we can only compare two things. So that makes it, one versus one okay this is a comparison of one versus one remember comparative is one versus one so we have here an elephant and then we have a mouse and this is one versus one right one versus one and the comparison is this one the elephant is bigger than the mouse so some characteristics of the comparative we are using this structure to compare which means que, este más que el otro. Uh, we have 
one object here and one object here, one versus one. And then we have an adjective, which is big. And then we have to think, big, is it a short or long adjective? What is it, Maria Ignacia? Is it short or long? ¿Qué pasó? Es que mi perrito está ladrando y no me logro concentrar mucho. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Maria Ignacia, big, is it long or short adjective? Big, eh, short. It's a short adjective, yes, it's a short adjective. So we have this one, big, it's this category. One syllable adjective, big, okay? So it's one short syllable adjective, and so we need to just put R. And obviously that. So bigger than, smaller than, taller than, etc., etc. This is the category that we're using. Very important is that when we have one syllable adjectives, that they have a combination of consonant, vowel, consonant, we need to double the consonant. So we have big. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Una sílaba, siempre se dobla la última consonante. Bigger. Uh, another example could be the following. The adjective thin. What's the meaning of thin? What's the meaning of thin? Pensar. Sorry? Ah, no, sí. No, no, no. Hay que pensar que tenía acá. Ah, thin. This is thin. Thin. Delgado. Delgado. Thank you. Delgado. So, incredibly, this uh, adjective is one syllable. Thin. One syllable. Ah, yeah. Digo Tiro José. Uh, one syllable, and we have, se cuentan las tres últimas siempre. En el caso de big, solo tiene tres letras, entonces se cuentan las tres. Pero en este caso, sin tiene cuatro letras, pero se siempre se cuenta del último. Entonces, consonante, vocal, consonante. Thin, ok? Más delgado. Um, solo los adjetivos que tienen una sílaba. Ok. Uh, miedoso. José es afraid. Con miedo, ok. Afraid. Y tiene dos sílabas. Afraid. Ok. So, also what we have is that we, we can use two syllable adjectives. Ok. Uh, ending in Y. So, we have happy. We have easy, right? We have busy, we have pretty, we have funny, smelly, we are friendly, okay? And we change the Y by an R-E-R, okay? That is the other category. And then finally, we have two or more syllable adjectives like beautiful, dangerous, complex, difficult, and all the others. So this is easy because the only thing we have to put is more. More before the adjective and then the expression than. Okay, that's it. Also, it's very important to mention that we have special adjectives. And these special adjectives, at first sight, a primera vista, at first sight, you can see that they have one syllable. Good, one syllable. Bad, one syllable. Far, one syllable. But they, they do not enter here. No, because they are special. So what we do is we change them completely. Good, changes for better. Bad, changes for worse. And far, changes for farther and further. Okay, so those are the changes that we do with the comparative adjectives. Let's kick it and practice. Any questions? No questions, let's continue, let's kick it. We're gonna do some practice, boom, short practice. Let me get the website. Okay, here we are.
we are on a website now and i'm going to share the screen Alrighty, so we're going to do some exercises very short uh let me put them down and we're going to do uh well, number one is ready number two number four number six number seven and number nine yes number nine those are comparatives okay uh let's kick it so let's give it to amir bijit what about number two how you put it this flower one flower is then the other one okay we have another flower so we have one and one flower how would you put in comparative that this flower yes was hair very nice Amir Bijit? Oh, no Amir Bijit. Wow, okay. Um, let's call it Bellu Neck. Um, yes, Bellu Neck. How would you put it? Number two. Uh, more beautiful. Yes. Than uh, the white one. Uh -huh. More beautiful than that one. So, um, this flower. Is more beautiful than the other one. Okay, probably this one is a lily. I don't know. And this one is, a, I don't know, a dandelion, maybe dandelion. Okay, okay, no more doctor. Okay, sorry. Uh, so we have non smokers usually live than, than the smokers. Okay, so in this case, let's call it Benjamin Charlie. Benjamin Charlie, how would you complete this? Long, one syllable, long. Benjamin Chan is not here. Uh, oh, yes. Ah, okay. Thank you, Benjamin Charlie. Uh, Longer. There were algunos. Thank you, Tiare. Thank you, Mr. Vigit. Very nice. So, I want to make it longer. Bye, put it longer. Longer. Eh, es con una L, o sea, con una G. Porque, veámoslo. Long, una sílaba. Ya, clasifica como posible cambio. Perfecto. Pero, veamos a las últimas tres letras. Pues, si hizo las últimas tres. Las tomo acá y cuento. Eh, debe ser consonante, vocal, consonante. O oh, es una vocal, que afuera, no sirve. Consonante N, sí. Consonante G, sí. Bueno, acá tampoco clasifica porque es una vocal, entonces igual no sirve. Entonces no podemos duplicarlo, no podemos ponerle una G más, ¿ya? Es por esa razón. Se cuentan siempre las últimas tres letras del adjetivo corto de una sílaba. Big se duplica porque tiene tres sílabas y justamente calza. O sea, tiene tres letras. All right, let's continue. Uh, what about Amir Brigid? Now that you partic participating on the chat, what about this one? Holiday by the sea is that holiday in the mountain. This is a special adjective. How do you put it in the comparative? Amir Bijit. No lo sé, profe. Tranquilo, no se preocupe, no se preocupe. Descuide. Aquí estamos para poder darnos cuenta. A ver, eh, Tiere, give it a go. Tiere. Hello. Mm. Respects. Respects, Miss Antonia. Better. Yes. So, holiday by the sea is better than holidays of the mountain. Do you think that's true? Vacaciones cerca del mar o al lado del mar son mejores que las vacaciones en la montaña? O como en el valle, por ejemplo? Para mí, sí. ¿Y para ustedes? 
La verdad es que sí. Yo prefiero el Valle. Oh, eh, discrepamos, qué bueno, bacán. Um, I mean, Brigitte, so we mentioned that good, it's a special adjective, it changes. Aquí tenemos uno de los adjetivos regulares que cambia, ya que están en la tablita. Ojo, el, el the PowerPoint that I'm, I'm showing you and the link of the class will be uploaded to Google Classroom. So, and also I'm going to give you some, I'm going to give you uh, like a test for you to practice. So that's some teeny people. Um, okay, Antonio Corbelin. Now you, you're very active. Let's do number seven. So it's strange, but often Coke is than beer. Uh. More, more expensive. Yeah, good pronunciation. And thank you, Tiare, too. More expensive. Uh, Jose, what's the meaning of expensive? Joseph. What's the meaning? Yeah. Sorry? What's the meaning of expensive? What? Caro? Caro, yes, expensive. Uh, a veces la Coca-Cola es más cara que la cerveza. Uh, no sé, eh? no sé. A veces más cara. No tengo idea, no compro ninguna, entonces no sé. No me gusta la Coca-Cola, niño, lo siento. Okay, and finally, uh, let's call it with bad. Okay, uh, let's call here uh, Mr. Cordova, Vincent. Worse? Uh, yeah, uh, wait, okay, worse, yes, worse. So weather in summer is even worse than last summer. This weather in summer is even worse. Okay, 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 okay yes. So, where is, is another, I mean, in this case, bad is another special adjective, just like good. Okay, good and bad are special adjectives, they change. Therefore, in this case, I could say that, for example, the weather this winter is better than the last year. Sometimes we have sunny days, it's very cool, but we can go out, but anyways, it looks beautiful. Okay, why, why we are not doing number three, five, eight, and ten? ¿A quién se le ocurre? ¿Por qué no estamos haciendo eso? Why are we not doing these ones? Así, solo por leerla. ¿Alguna idea? I don't know. Okay, Tiare, no worries. It's all perfect. Any ¿Puedo de... repetir la pregunta, por, por superlativo? Favor? Yes, yes. So, these are superlatives. So, we are not doing it. I'm sorry. We are not doing this ones. Number three, number five, number eight, number ten, because they are superlative. Si ustedes las leen, se van a dar cuenta que no está comparando uno y uno. Ya, entonces, es una de las formas de pillarlo. Acá hay una flor y ahí está la otra flor. Pero acá dice... Este es el más interesante. El libro más interesante. Entonces, uno que he leído. Es el libro más interesante que he leído. Entonces, me pone mi experiencia de que este libro es más, ex, más interesante que todos los otros que he leído. Ya, más interesante que Harry Potter, más interesante que, no sé, pues, Miss Runner, que Hamlet, que todos los libros que he leído. Por eso es uno versus un grupo. Entonces, el azul, los azules son superlativos y lo vamos a hacer más rato. Son superlativos. Recuerden que es uno versus un grupo. And we're going to talk about that now. Because we're moving along. Ok. Rest in teeth. Ok. But let's not go yet to the superlative. I have here some pictures. Eh, ¿A quién le gustaría hacer comparaciones así en vivo y en directo? Y las vamos anotando acá en el chat. Yo las voy poniendo para que queden ahí registradas en forma oral. Who would like to compare comparatives? Comparative. ¿Cómo? 
con cualquiera de los objetos que están ahí y con cualquier adjetivo que usted quiera. Así que increíble. An elephant is bigger than a mouse. An elephant is bigger than a mouse. Perfecto. Um, the deer is more dangerous than the cat. A tiger? It's more dangerous than the cat. It's more dangerous than a cat. ¿Por qué me sigue corrigiendo el Dan? Ahí está. Ahí está el otro. Oh, se lo mandé a la tía Arena, ¿qué? Ah, no, ahí lo mandé a todos. Está la tía Arena, no es. Ah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, a man is older than a baby. Thank you. Ya, José, dale. Dale, Joseph. A cup of coffee. Coffee, a cup of coffee. Is hotter than. Hotter than. Perfect. Water. Yes. Perfect. Uh, a car. Car is faster than a bus. Perfect. Perfecto. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Anything else? A sandwich is yes. Okay, can you repeat again? A sandwich is more healthy mm -hmm. than a pizza. Okay, is this Antonia Carvalho? Si. Okay, yeah. Antonia, count the following thing. Healthy. How many syllables? Two. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have two. And we have this one. So it should be counted like a short like a short adjective. And so what would you do to change? Uh, healthier. Yes. So can you repeat again, Miss? Healthier. Okay, perfect. And can you say the whole thing again? A sandwich? Uh, a sandwich is healthier than a pizza. Uh -huh. Well, I disagree and agree at the same time. Yeah, it depends on the ingredients, but yes, yes, absolutely. I love pizza. Uh, look at that. A baby is younger than a man. And a city is more contaminated than the beach. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah, Tiare. And also Benjamin Charlie, very good. Okay, ready, it's ready. Jose, can you speak? Because I think your microphone is bugged. Aquí la experta en computación, Jose Familiar, nos ha dado un comentario. A ver, Jose, can you speak? Joseph? Yeah. A ver, habla más rato, Jose, a ver. No me escuché mucho, se me trabó el internet recién. Ah, como por el internet, claro, sí, está, está como, se te escucha muy cortado, así, ta, 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 ta. sí, pero igual, igual te puedo, recién te puedo entender, ya, así que está bien, así que puedes participar por el, por el, ¿cómo se llama? Por el chat, si quieres, ¿ya? Josefa, ¿lo puedes arreglar la distancia? Tú que eres cama en computación, por favor. Thank you, Josefa Millar. Ok, let's continue. Uh, next thing is superlatives, okay? <laughs> superlatives. Superlatives, what we have is very similar, but different at the same time. We are comparing now, but we're comparing one versus a group. So we have here a blue whale. Blue whale is one. Uh, versus animal in the world. So animal in the world that includes uh, mice, that, that include elephants, that include sharks, that include giraffes. Uh, lions and all the other things. So now we stopped comparing one versus one. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are comparing versus a group, of course, versus a group. Okay, this is the group of animals, one versus one. So we do mm, quite the same, right? So it says uh, for one syllable adjective, we need to add the EST. So is this the biggest? The smallest, for example, the biggest country in South America? Question for you. 
the biggest country in South America? Brazil. 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 Okay. Very nice. The smallest country in South America? Guyana Francesa. Oh, wow, yes. Me he puesto a ver video de Guyana Francesa, a ver qué tal, y porque es un misterio. No, no. Los otros me preguntaron y no supe qué decir, entonces me sentí muy, muy ignorante. Pero a la misma vez, es la culpa de ellos porque ellos no se muestran. Guyana Francesa y Surinam. Ya. Yeah. Eh, who is the nicest? The nicest, uh, a ver, who is the nicest, no, que está muy subjetivo, yeah, who is the tallest boy or girl in your class, yeah, who is the tallest boy, for example, you, no, but without counting me, <laughs> who is the tallest boy in the class, in your class, Guido Maito Gaido, okay. And who is the tallest girl? Brinquil. Belunek, po. Bacán, bacán, bacán. Es un gran don que tiene Belunek. Yeah. Uh, what's the longest country in the world? Chile. Chile, yes, okay. So we are comparing one, Chile, versus the world, all the other countries, okay? All the other countries. Uh, llevo José Mamier de tomar un curso de Excel por YouTube. Okay, so also we have two syllable adjectives. Look at the CIA, Miss Carveling. Uh, two syllable adjectives with Y, we need to change it for, in this case, in superlative, for ISD. Okay, it's so easy, easy. For example, question for you guys What's the easiest, what's the easiest subject for you at school? ¿Cuál es más fácil? Um. Si dice en inglés no voy a llorar. <laughs> ¿Qué dijo, profe? What's, it, what's the easiest subject for you at school? Um. Religion? Religion? Have you got religion? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know, man. What else? What else? Is the easiest subject? Subject es asignatura. Ojo, recuerden, recuerden el vocabulario. Sí, lo entiendo, José Ramillar. Sí, es interesante. ¿Para uno? Sí, para ustedes. Um, chemistry and biology. Chemistry and biology are the easiest for you. Wow, wow, wow. wow, yeah. wow, wow. No, es... Miren, si se fijan, en, en este caso podemos comparar chemistry and biology are the easiest For me. Entonces la María Ignacia hizo lo siguiente. Lo, puso dos cosas. Chemistry and biology. Hizo un pack de uno ahí. Are the easiest for me. Entonces, versus todo lo otro. Versus history, math, English, language. Entonces, ¿se puede hacer eso? Se puede hacer eso. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Very good. En vez de poner uno, juntaste dos. Puedes juntar hasta tres, dice acá. Um, I don't know, Joe. What's the easiest for you, Joe? Go for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> English is the easiest. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, okay. And, and we have difference here. Uh, what about you, um, Connor? What's the What's the easiest for you? Math, mira, mira, I'm very neck. Math. And Cora, what's the easiest for you? No está la Cora, vamos para José Familiar y para ti. What's what's the easiest subject? Ya mientras lo me responden, no vamos a avanzar. So we have also two or more syllable adjectives. The only thing we do is the most beautiful, the most dangerous, the most intelligent, the most understanding the most difficult, the most frustrating. So it's very important. What we have here is the characteristic that we use the, the best, the biggest, whatever. And also we have special adjectives again. Um, so los mismos, good, bad, and far. 
and we change them in the superlative form for the best, the worst, the farthest, and the furthest. We mentioned that the farthest with the farthest with A is from uh, American English, and the furthest is with British English. But the UK, this one is the American uh, one. Okay. And, and what's the most difficult, what's the most difficult subject for you, Marie Ignazia? Física y matemática. Physics and math. Wow. Es que en general los números no me gustan mucho, por eso que no, no le tomo mucha atención a esa parte. Mm. Oh, numbers. But you're doing chemistry. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So what, what, what do you want to study, by the way? I want to be what, like a chemist or chemist engineer? Very nice. ¿Qué pasa, teacher? What would you like to study then, uh, university? Hey, Vicente Córdoba, what's the easiest? What the, ¿Quiero the, estudiar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Medicina. Medicine. Oh, okay. Nice. Cool. I love studying, and that's good. If you like to study, medicine is for you. Es que teacher, si hay vocación, el esfuerzo va a valer la pena. Yeah, of course, I agree. You can do whatever you want and you can put all your passion into it. So it's it worth, okay? It's worth. It's worth. Vale la pena. Um, Master Córdoba, what about you, man? Vincent, what's the most difficult for you? The most difficult language is the most difficult for you. Wow. Por la vo por tildes vocales. Mm. O sea, vocales no, pero las tildes, esas cosas. Ahorita hay palabras que no, no sé escribir. Oh, maybe you can, I don't know, finally finish, finish your uh, difficulty by, I don't know, watching a video on tildes on YouTube. Es drújula, ok, sobre drújula, aguda, grave, todo ese tipo de cosas que sirven. Y si no, bueno, lo va a entender por osmosis alguna vez, que lo va aprendiendo en el camino. Physics. Mr. Romero, and chemistry. Mira, ahí tenemos el opuesto de la animación. Chemistry. Ya, yeah. let's move on. Vamos, vámonos, vamos a practicar superlativo. Para hacer esto tenemos que... Yeah, we're going to go to the same website. Ah, come on, stop it. You're gonna go to the same website. Website, are you there? Okay. Tala, bro. Come on, that's not funny. All right, so we mentioned that number three, number five, number eight, and number 10 are superlative. Yeah, because you mentioned it. And let's have a go. Let's have a quick go. Uh, what about Pablo Moyano? How would you go with a book? Interesting. This is the interesting book I've ever read. I've ever read. Que he leído. Moyano? Oh, alguien escribe aquí. Mr. Moyano, number three, please. Superlative adjective. More? Mm. No, no, no. It's superlative. It's superlative. No comparative. Superlative. Yeah, let's call it Manuel Ortiz. Manuel Ortiz no va a ayudar. What uh, teacher? Number three. Don't worry. The most interesting. It's the most interesting. Okay, Paul, toma nota. The most interesting. Para los largos ocupamos the most. En vez de more, porque estamos hablando superlativo. Es uno versus un grupo. Entonces, el más interesante de todos los libros. Yes, this book is the most interesting book. Goody, goody, goody. Let's continue. Pablo Moyano. La misma cosa. A ver. Which is the dangerous animal in the world? ¿Cuál es ese animal que es más en peligroso que los demás. Yes. The most dangerous. Thank you. 
the most dangerous. Chill, yes. Um, Belunek, what's going on? Está repetido. Oh. Ah, está repetido. Ah, verdad, bro. Tenía razón. Eh, no, es que me lo... Bueno, sí, lo mismo, tienen razón, lo mismo. Pero, pero buen, buen alcance, porque está el de puesto. Ahí, ahí. Ya. Eh, thank you, José. The richest. Uh, who's the richest woman on earth? I have no idea. No, I don't know. Britney Spears, maybe? No, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, what about this one? Joe. Me? Yeah, Joe, you're the only Joe we have. What about number 10? He was the... Um, uh, no, 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 uh, most clever. Clipper, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Most clever, ya yeah, tenemos dos, dos ahí, a ver, veamos. Clever, tiene dos, si la vas. Ok, vamos a ver. Va, cleverest, or, va, or, the most clever, ¿cuál es la mejor? Clever, tiene dos sílabas, entonces, por regla de ese ser, como es larga, clever, tiene dos sílabas, no termina en Y, entonces considerado largo. Um, las dos están correctas. Entonces, José y yo están en lo correcto. Estos adjetivos son muy extraños. Hay algunos que tienen, pueden ocupar dos. Eh, había otro que era, a ver, eh, híjole, era el otro que podía hacer así. Ya. Empieza con ese. Ya me voy a acordar, pero... The most clever and the cleverest están también las dos. Vamos a poner esta. Mira. Veamos cuál pescamos. Check answers. Mira, me hablo muy mala. Ah, bueno, porque está el D acá. ¿eh? Primero que todo. Y porque está el D acá. ¿Cuál es la idea? A ver, ¿cuál, ¿Cuál es la que va a querer tomar? The cleverest. Ya, ven. The cleverest. Así como lo puso el José, está correcto. Y como me hizo la Joe, también está correcto. Clever. Both forms are correct. They can be used in a sentence without any doubt. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Google. Yo recuerdo que era S, estaba S y había otro adjetivo que se me va a venir a la, a la mente en un ratito. Ya, yeah, ok. Let's continue. So, also we have other type of comparison. Hay otra comparación. And, and this one is the equal comparative or unequal comparative. Que son comparaciones de igualdad. For example, when we use as, as, and the verb to be is positive, okay, it's is and not isn't, uh, it, it means that the two things are equal, okay? The two things here are equal. So we are saying that my car is as, is as new as your car. So that means that these two cars are equally new, okay? Teacher, what about the ER and the ESD and the more and most? En, en este tipo de comparación no se cambian los adjetivos y se ponen tal cual. Da lo mismo si tienen una sílaba, dos sílabas, da, da lo mismo. Se ponen tal cual. Okay, so I repeat, if the verb to be is positive, this means that these are equal, okay? Now, the opposite is that not as as, not. So if the, if the verb to be is negative, okay, and we say the Eiffel Tower isn't as tall as Burj Khalifa, it means that this one, 
they are different, ¿ok? Si el primero es menor que el segundo. Entonces, no es tan alta. No es tan alta como el verso califa. ¿Ok? ¿Se entiende esto? ¿Algunos preguntas? Repito. ¿Puede repetir, teacher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So, we use the combination as as. ¿Ok? The combination as as. Acá un adjetivo, ¿no? Ponen ahí un adjetivo. Yeah, this combination to represent equal or unequal. But that will depend on the verb to be. So, for example, number one, if the verb to be is positive, my car is as new as yours, that means that the two, these two objects are equal. Okay? If I say, for example, uh, Marie Ignacia is as nice as Joe, it means that they are equally nice. Son igual de buena onda. ¿Ya? Eh, porque mi verbo to be está presente. Is as. Marín Ignacia is as nice as Joe. Está positivo. Mi verbo to be. Is. Puede ser are, puede ser am, como sea. Puede ser was, were, lo que sea. Pero verbo to be positivo. The opposite version is the number two. If the verb to be is negative, okay, if the verb to be is negative, uh, now we are showing inequality. Que están en desigualdad, ya, ya no son iguales, dejan de ser iguales. So here we have that the Eiffel Tower isn't as tall as the Burj Khalifa. Si esto ocurre, si el verbo to be es negativo, quiere decir que el primero o el A es menos que el segundo, que el B. ¿Ya? Más chico en este caso. Dice, no es tan alta, no es tan alta como el Burj Khalifa. I can say, for example, la Serena isn't as big as Valparaíso. Ya dicho y ya entendí. Okay. Yeah. No es tan grande Gracias. como Valparaíso. Ok, let's go, let's do some practice. Ah, come on. Yo puse aquí mi ejercicio. Acá está, buenísimo. Cake, sweet. Okay, sweet. So what we have is comparative as, as. Okay. So some of them will be negative, some of them will be positive. So let's kick it. Marie Ignacia, what about the first one? Janet. As beautiful as? Is as, as be beautiful as Jennifer. Well, if you compare la belleza, but we have Jeanette is as beautiful as Jennifer. Okay, next one, number three, let's call it. Uh, uh, Vincent Cordova. You are as crazy as my sister. You are as crazy or crazy as my sister. Está igual de loco que mi hermana, igual de loco que mi hermana. Porque son positivos positivo, iguales. Lemon jam, lemon. Um, we can run. We can run as fast as they can. Yes. Vamos a correr tan rápido como ellos también. Joe, what about five? Um. Uh, creo, creo. <laughs> uh, not as strict as. Yeah, este verbo to be debiese no. Ya, yeah. vamos a ponerlo completo. Vamos a poner, your mom isn't as straight as your mom. ¿Qué quiere decir yo? What's the meaning of this? Eh, o sea, mi mamá eh, no es. Eh, Estricta. Claro, no es tan estricta. No sé. ¿No? Uh -huh. no es tan estricta como tu mamá, como la tuya. Uh -huh. Tu mamá, por ejemplo, te da correazo y la mía me dice, no, venga para acá. Ya, yeah. así. Thank you. No. 
Sorry, what? Lemon. Lemon? Yeah. What happened? Your mom. Your, your mom punches you? Yeah, yeah, your mom. Yes. Joseph, number six. Um, he seen us. Yeah. Trendy. Trendy. As mine. As mine. Very nice. Your mobile phone isn't as trendy as mine. What's the meaning of trendy, by the way? Do you know that adjective? So no sé qué trendy una marca de lado, pero no sé qué trendy. Popular. Yes, kind of, it's like popular, a la moda. Yeah, claro, una marca de lado. Tiene toda la razón. A la moda, como moderno, trendy. Yeah. La ropa es como a la moda. Y, y los objetos como celulares, claro, como modernos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good, 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 good. Uh, and let's finish with this one. Matrix, Matrix 2 was... Ay, alguien me puso ahí algo. Oh... <laughs> sí, estoy de acuerdo. Trending topic, ¿verdad? Pues trending topic es como el que está buena, Mir BG, buen ejemplo. Trending topic, el, que, el más popular, ¿no? De lo que se está hablando. Ya pues José va a mirar, que a ver, ¿qué pasa con el 7? A ver. Number 7. Yo estoy de acuerdo con esta, con la número 7, absolutamente. Pero ¿cómo la ponemos? Miss Millar. Yo creo que con Antonia, con Antonella Torres, con eh, José Pamillar, nos vamos a tener que comprar ese micrófono que tiene Amerigna, ¿sí, ya? Si me lo traduce todo, no. Como, como si, si está claro, dice Matrix 2, eh, no era, ahí sí, interesante, en Matrix 1. Matrix es una película, sí, sí, buen niño, oh, qué onda, niño, oh, me acaban de fallar. Ya permiso para las, para hacer, cometer la. Oh, niño, a ver. <risa> yeah. okay. um, Matrix, bro. Matrix, ya el que la vi ahí por Netflix, de hecho está, creo, en Netflix, está uh, Matrix One. Atrele, bueno, así que veanla ahí. Si Perfecto, se... Perdóneme, pero yo, yo sí la conozco, pero nunca la he visto completa. Yo tampoco oh, la he visto uh, completa. Respeto, respeto, respeto. Así que no se preocupen. Eh, eh, creo que es lo mismo que mencionaba el Lemon, o sea, cuando hablamos de películas que dieron vuelta al cine, Matrix es una, totalmente. Al menos la uno, las otras son como... Eh, pero la 1 es re buena, así que ahí es que tiene Netflix. Echo un vistazo cuando tenga. ¡Oh! Eh, Josefa, Millar, next week. Próxima semana. Ya, entonces, ¿cómo quedaría? Manu. Ah, mira la cona. Hice un as interesting as Matrix. As interesting as Matrix One, ya. Yeah. En este caso estamos ocupando el was porque no está pasando ya was. En vez de is, si se fijan, no era tan interesante. Yes, perfect, Kona, perfect, perfect, perfect. Ya, si se si dan cuenta, este es más fácil de los comparativos. Lo único que hay que ver si es que es igual, verbo to be positivo, si que son distintos, verbo to be negativo. Ah, the 12th, the 12th of uh, September. Uh, y el adjetivo va igual, no se agrega nada, y va entre as, as. Si es good, pregunta, si es que, si mi adjetivo es good, ¿lo cambio a better o the best? No. Excelente. Yeah, excellent. Let's go. So, let's move on with the next part. Y tenemos poco tiempo. Um, speedy. Teacher? Yes. ¿Va a mandar ese power? Of course, my Ignacia, of course. Yeah. Of course. It will be sent to your Google Classroom. So. Uh, next one. This is very quick. 
Okay, we have TV genres. Okay, ah, uh, sorry, this is film, film genres. People, can you give me the names of this film genres? Participation. De cualquiera. Yeah, yeah, any, 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 any. Pero de esos géneros o alguna película en no, general. Genres, genres. Um, Western. Ah, uh, but give me, give me the picture, the picture with the. El sombrero. Yeah, but, but use English, Mr. Master Corva. You're very good. Hat. The picture with a hat. Very good. Western. Thank you, Mr. Corva. Musical. Uh, Maria Ignacia, the same, please. Musical. The picture with the... Esas notas musicales que están en picture. la tercera fila. The picture with the musical notes. Mm. Musical. Yeah, Maria Ignacia, very nice. Continue. Um, action with tank. Action with the tank. Ah, cool, cool, cool. Action with the tank. Very nice. Sci fi with the alien. Oh, sci fi. Sci fi with the alien. Perfect. Sci fi or science fiction. Cualquier otra cosa. Sci fi or science fiction. I'm going to escribir por aquí. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eh, José, te voy a poner los links en el Google Classroom, ¿ya? Yeah? Ahí para que practique, ¿ya? Yeah. Um, War, uh, profe. War history. What? War history. Pero ¿cuál foto? Po? Which picture? De la, de la cabeza espartana. Fantasy is the witch with a hat. Yes. Fantasy films, yeah. Es que ya lo dijeron ese poco, ¿sabes? Porque es action. Yeah, what else? Mystery. Yeah. With the... ¿Cómo se dice? What, what thing? El gorro y la pipa. Ah, okay, so it's a hat and a pipe. Yes, un hat. Yes, what is? What was that? Thank you. Mystery. Yes, mystery. Okay, mystery, yes. Mystery or crime. Perfect, crime or mystery. Perfect. Me encanta la palabra mystery. Que se crea con doble y. Se ve bonita. Thank you, Miss Corbelin, again. And Miss Connie and uh, Jose Familia, like a, uh, adult, adult movies. Okay, what else? Medieval. Medieval. Oh, cool, cool. That's a genre, but also they, they call it epic movies or they call it also historical. Epic or historical. For example, uh, El que vio Troya, Troy, Troy. Troy is an epic movie. No sé, hay mucha Horror movies with a zombie. Ah, oh, all right, all right, with a zombie hand. Perfect. Horror. Horror, yeah. I agree. What else? Thriller with the crowd. Thriller with the crowd. Wow, este Vincent, muy bueno. Thriller with a crow and the tomb and the tomb. What else? What about that helmet with the with the mustache and the walking stick? What do you think? Uh, that that's a famous that's a famous character. It was very funny. Happily? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what kind of movies he made? Que no, no había sonido. O sea, como que era mimo. Pero no sé cómo decir el género. Sorry? Co... 
comedia. O sea... Comedy, yeah. Show. Good comedy. Comedy, comedy, comedy. Creo que puso action en dos. Sí, puso en los dos. En realidad puede ser este. Puede ser drama también. Drama, algo así. Uh, and what about these two? Uh, cuando hay un mapa y tienes que buscar algo, algo así. Por ejemplo, Jumanji. Adventure. Adventure film. Adventure film. Ok, y parece que el mismo que. Eh, vamos a terminar en un ratito, Mr. PG. Ya no queda nada. Y and what about this one? With, uh, for example, Toy Story, uh, Car Cartoon. Ooh, mm. it's a TV show. This is a uh, uh, film, film genre. Ah, uh, animated, animated, animated film. Okay, we're ready. Very nice. Uh, so, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Star Wars. What is your favorite movie? Mm. The Revenge of the Sith. Oh, the Revenge of the Sith, really? Teacher, faltó uno. Oh, faltó yes. uno. Ah, sí, if, uh, that's, that one is uh, adventure as well. Adventure. Hi. Yeah, it kind of repeats. Okay, let's continue. And we're going to finish the class now. Okay. Ya, aquí le viene un ejercicio. Ustedes me dicen rápidamente qué película es. Get off your hands, bastard. Get your gun ready. Western? Western, yes. Perfecto. Okay, we have, we've got 20 seconds to deactivate the bomb or the president will die. Action. Action. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this thing is inhuman and I saw it in the barking last night. Um, Safe, right? No, no, no. Horror, horror. Horror, yeah. So the wizard turned this rabbit into a huge dragon to fight the evil monster. Um, fantasy? Fantasy, yes. Delta Station, over. This is Falcon P-15. Permission to land on Mars. Sci-fi? Um... Sci-fi, yes. They found the missing girl. Now the mysterious killer, as our kidnapper, is on the run. Mystery? Crime? Mystery? Mystery, crime, o thriller, incluso puede ser, porque tiene como cosas medio uh -huh. de desgracia. Tenemos kidnapper. ¿Cuál es el kidnapper? Eh, secuestrador. secuestrador. Un secuestrador. Ya, alguien que no le gustaría encontrarse nunca. Yeah. Ok. Eh, TV programs. Ya, yeah, vamos a moverlo rápido. So, hey, Bilbo, tell me, what TV program do you remember? Y aquí terminamos. Eh... KND. Sorry? KND. Kids. Eh, ¿Cómo era? En inglés. Ok, I'm going to show you uh, very quick. Eh, los chicos de barrio. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Ok, so we have documentaries, dramas, cartoons, the news, chat shows, game shows, reality shows, soap operas, uh, sitcom, and better comedy, sitcoms, and uh, films. Ok. Keeping up with the Kardashians are a reality show. It's a reality show. Thank you. Beautiful. Very nice reality show. Keeping up with the Kardashians is a reality show. Okay. What else? Kardashians Oculta is a drama. It's a drama and at the same time it's a soap opera. What was the meaning of soap opera, by the way? Novela. Novela, yes. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Arnold is a cartoon. Arnold is a cartoon. Si que alguien no ha visto A. Arnold, A. Arnold, véala por favor. Haría un super favor a su vida. A. Arnold, se llama. Qué buen, qué buen mono. Yeah, yeah. Let's continue. The Helen Show. The Helen, oh. Helen the, the General Show. The Helen Show, is that? Their beauty ritual. It's a, it's a chat show. Very nice. Sorry. No, 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 never. Okay, Joe, no worries. What else? 
The news. The news. Thank you. The news. Aquí está. Big Bang Theory is a comedy. Oh, Joseph Fontaine. It's a comedy. And, and cuando hablamos de programas de televisión or TV shows, we call it sitcom. Okay? Sitcom. Sitcom or comedy. Comedy is like more for films. Sitcom is more for TV shows. Yeah, okay. We have only two. No, three. CSI, New York. Uh, they're playing like a game. Food Inc. is a documentary, yes. This is the documentary. Well, people who would, for example, they kind of like animals and they want to change their diet and stop eating meat uh, and become vegetarian or something like that, or just you love animals, this is a very good documentary. It's a, bit, it's a bit rough and a bit dramatic, but it's good. La Ruleta es el quiz show. Oh, mm -hmm. this is a game show. Or, as you mentioned, a quiz show. It's the same. Very nice. Miss Josefa Fountain. And a falta uno. CSI New York. It's very similar to Verdades Ocultas. Uh, you meant, you said something. I think it was Mr. Right? Oh, very close. Mr. Corva said something. Drama? Drama. It's drama. It's a drama problem. Okay, so this is the last part of the review. Okay, people, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna finish the class and I'm gonna upload the video of the class to the uh, Google Classroom. I'm gonna put also this, uh, this uh, PowerPoint presentation, this Google Slides on the web, on Google Classroom. And also I'm gonna upload a test, okay? Voy a subir una prueba para que la hagan ustedes, y ahí cada uno va a revisar, y la revisión de esta, de esta prueba se la voy a mandar, la voy a subir el día lunes, ya, para que ustedes puedan ahí contrastar sus resultados, no deben enviar nada de vuelta, ya, solamente revisen el solucionario y comparan con su, con lo que hicieron ustedes, ¿les tinca? ¿se la mando el lunes? O sea que es como una guía. ¿Cómo? Es como una guía. ¿Cuándo es? Es como una guía, se la voy a subir el día, esta prueba formativa, eh, ustedes la avanzan el fin de semana y cuando puedan y, o el mismo lunes durante la tarde y el lunes en la, en la tarde ya como a las 7 les voy a subir el solucionario de esa, de esa prueba formativa o de esa guía como dicen ustedes ah ya teach ya no me deben enviar nada de vuelta solamente contrastar ok ok ready ready bye bye hey people uh, thank you for the participation fue muy buena muy buena saludos a todos eh, me siento un poco culpable porque eh, este era mi primer año con ustedes otra vez y no lo he podido ver nada. A ver, eso no se vuelve, profe. Al menos podemos hablar, po. Así que, mm. como dice Manuel. Ya, pues, a cuidarse. Un abracito a todos. Los quiero mucho y se cuidan todos, ¿ya? Chao, teacher. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye. Cuídese. Joe se cuida. Espero verlo otra vez. Chao. Lemon, what a great picture. Bye, José Familiar. José Familiar, piense. Thank you. Piense. Una buena carrera para usted. Oye, Lemon. Puta, Lemon. Profe. Pablo. Me arregló un compu. Que ¿Cómo? se muteaba solo. ¿Quién se mutió solo? <laughs> Un compu se me desmutaba solo. Lo arregló con habilidades mentales. ¿En serio? Sí, de verdad. Soy demasiado seco. Lo sabía. Pues, eh, Pablito, ahí cuando, uh -huh. cuando se le mutee, apriete el... Y después lo saca. Y así, po, hasta que funcione. Para que lo reconozca. Ya. Yeah. Bye, bye. José Domillar, psicología, Psicología del baile, eso tienes que estudiar. Sí. Oye, tenía el micrófono. Sí, le dije que tenía. Lo que Obvio. no tenía era estoy tenía los elásticos puestos. Qué decepcionado estoy, José Familiar. Pero por qué. No, Yo ya, estoy oiga. Decepcionado porque no me prestó atención cuando le conté. No, pues si te leí que la enseñanza por el por medio del miedo 
no es lo mejor. No era estoy, buena. Estoy de acuerdo, estoy de acuerdo. ¿Y quién, uh -huh. quién, quién practica eso, José Domíguez, a esta altura? Yo creo que nadie, ¿no? Sí, todo ahí, gente yo. que lo hace. Ya. ¿Qué? Ah, <risa> ya, por ahí practican el, el tema del mío. Uh -huh. <risa> Uh, bueno, no es la idea, bo, eh. yo, mi, de la escuela que vengo yo, así como mi escuela de pensamiento, es que la enseñanza viene de la escuela del amor, bo, no del miedo, del uh -huh. cariño, del cariño, ¿eh? ¿cómo está ahí? Eso. Coincido. Coincide, ya, estamos de acuerdo entonces, al menos sí. no, nos vamos como, bye, bye. no nos vamos como enemigos, no nos vamos como amigos. Eco. Ya, me, me parece muy bien. ¿Pusiste en el bien. calendario ya cuando te sacan los brackets o no? Sí, le puse el día, pero tampoco me pescó. Oh, sí, pusiste el 12 de septiembre. Ah, pero bueno, que no, lo dije profe. ahora. Que bien. Bye, bye, mi master. Chau. Bye. Oye, la prueba formativa, me olvidé de decir, es la otra semana. Ya, yo les voy a poner a los niños en el grupo. Oh, gracias, mi secretaria. Perfecto, muy bien. <risa> ya, chao. Cuidado, que estén muy bien. Nos Porque vemos. Está bien, chao. Chau, chau.